the top 10 worst contracts in music history. The music industry has a reputation for being ruthless, with artists often locked into contracts that are exploitative, restrictive, or outright unfair. Here are 10 of the worst contracts in music history, showing the impact on artists' careers and personal lives. One, Tony Braxton. Despite her immense success, Tony Braxton's contract with Arista Records paid her a mere 33 cents per album sold, and she was charged for promotional expenses, reducing her royalty payments to almost nothing. This led her to file for bankruptcy twice. Even after renegotiating her contract, Braxton's second bankruptcy was due to the continued burden of her contract terms and additional health issues. Two, Badfinger. The rock band Badfinger signed a management contract with Stan Polly that allowed him to control all of their earnings, resulting in severe financial mismanagement. Badfinger's Warner Brothers contract required them to release new albums every six months, leading to exhaustion and legal complications. The band's financial woes contributed to guitarist Pete Ham's suicide in 1975. Three, Little Richard. One of the most influential figures in rock and roll, Little Richard signed a contract with Specialty Records that gave him just $50 up front and half a cent for each record sold. Although his hit Tutti Frutti sold over 500,000 copies, he earned only around $25,000. The contract also denied him royalties when his songs were covered by other artists, leading him to sue Specialty Records, eventually settling out of court. 4. Prince Prince's contract with Warner Brothers in 1979 was a groundbreaking deal, but it gave the label ownership of his entire back catalog. This led to Prince changing his name to a symbol and writing slave on his face during performances, and also releasing an intentionally chaotic album to protest. He eventually re-signed with Warner Brothers in 2014, regaining control over his music. Five, John Cougar Mellencamp. John Cougar Mellencamp's contract with Riva required him to perform under a stage name and the label controlled his image. It wasn't until 1991 that his label allowed him to drop Cougar and perform under his real name, John Mellencamp. This contract restricted his creative freedom for years, illustrating the control labels had over artists. Six, Bad Boy Records. Bad Boy Records, particularly those involving Diddy, had contracts known for unfavorable terms. Artists like the LOX, had a fight to be released from their contracts due to the restrictive clauses and low royalty rates. The high level of control and lack of fair compensation highlighted the harsh realities of the music industry. 7. New Edition Despite being one of the most popular bands of the 1980s, New Edition's contract paid them very little. The band's manager, Maurice Starr, took a significant portion of the profits, leaving the band with minimal earnings. This situation is a prime example of artists being exploited by their management. 8. Aaliyah Alia's contract with Blackground Records was signed when she was a minor, leading to legal complications. She sued to be released from the contract, and it took until 2014 to finalize the settlement. This example shows how young artists can be subjected to legally questionable contracts with severe restrictions. 9. Sugar Hill Records Known for pioneering rap music, Sugar Hill Records had contracts that were notorious for being exploitative. Artists at Sugar Hill often received minimal royalties, and faced harsh contractual restrictions. The company's control over the artist's earnings and output underscored the struggles many musicians faced in the early rap industry. 10. Kesha Kesha's contract with Dr. Luke and Sony Music led to a high-profile legal battle. She claimed her contract was exploitative and alleged abuse by Dr. Luke. The restrictive terms made it difficult for Kesha to release new music independently, leading to a drawn-out legal fight for creative freedom. These 10 examples demonstrate some of the most notorious music contracts in history and their impact on artists' careers and well-being. The stories behind these contracts shed light on the darker side of the music industry and the need for artists to carefully navigate their contractual agreements.